happy in your relationship? What do you contribute that? Then there is a, a, an A to the question. What are the keys to being fulfilled physically, sexually, mentally? It is exhausting to read the question. And to keep you there, this woman is looking for Superman. So the man in here with an S on his chest and the, uh, the cape, please. Okay. Okay, since you have the mic. All right. I'll give you a very short answer. Thank you. I'm not an author or a politician. Oh, man. So, is it on? Yes. Congratulations on the book. Being an author and the uh, book writers and what I'm doing. Give me the mic. Give me the mic. Yeah, the mic. Okay. Let me check it out. Okay. It's his voice, guys. Yeah. It's my voice. Yes. Can you hear me? He was in Texas. <laughs> so, as I was saying, congratulations again on the book. That's quite an astute accomplishment. Uh, my answer is going to be a very short answer, as I'm not a politician like this young man right here, or an author. Uh, what was the question again? <laughs> the key to being happy in your relationship and the keys to being fulfilled physically, sexually, mentally, and to keep you there. Well, it was a five year timeline, right? Any question? No, there, that's the one thing that was not in the question is a timeline. So, I am not married, I have no kids, so I have no family, but I do have a girlfriend. We've only been dating for three months, so. I'm not uh, qualified to answer that question. You are not. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking up a lot of our valuable time. Seth, to let us know. All right. Uh, we're going to pass the mic to the married gentleman. And how long have you been married, sir? I've been married for 15 years. Go. Been together for 17. Mm -hmm. So it only took me two years of interviewing her and her interviewing me to find out if we were compatible. Um, related to the question, how do you read that question again? Well, right? I, I didn't. Just, uh, I need some tips. Paraphrase that. Okay, paraphrase it. Yeah, what it. what makes a fulfilling relationship? And then, what are the keys to being fulfilled in all areas, physically, mentally, sexually, to keep you there? Y'all gotta talk. You gotta talk about your needs. Okay. I, sometimes guys don't like to talk about what they need. They like they have that freak side that they don't know what their wife to know about. But that's the freak you need to be with. Your wife is your freak. I'm just saying. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't be clap. It's all right. Your woman is the freak too. She has her things that she just didn't divulge to you because we were trying to get to know each other. But she's got some things. We all have our own little pet peeves, the things we like. The things that make us orgasm. <laughs> and it might not be just vanilla sex. So you have to have those conversations. You have to have, you have to tell your partner, if you're not married, what you're into. Yeah. What you're into. And if they down with it, cool. Yeah. If they're not, then that's probably not the sexual partner for you. Yeah. If you're into other things, you're into education or you're into politics and that, that turns you on and makes you want to get into bed with this man, then go for it. But you have to talk about what your needs are. And as a married man, I try to explain what my needs are to my best ability so she understands what I need. So it might be moving a hand from here to someplace else. It might be talking about certain things. But you have to have this communication open and honest about what you want. Because if you don't get it from your spouse, somebody else is going to give it to them. Did I say something wrong? That's a whole other conversation. It's true. Oh, about that, <laughs> a lot of a lot of people don't. I mean, that's what I. That's my point on view that you just have to talk about. It. I mean, if you want to be fulfilled by this person, then you have to have that conversation. He can pass it down. Okay. I'm done. Good. Okay. I need your keys. The car is in the way. Did you not leave your keys? Did you want to get something? I did not. Okay. Okay. Who the hell left? She told me. I'm she. <laughs> <laughs> Who ballet? Did you ballet? What kind of car is it? It's a uh, gray Cadillac. Anyone with a gray Cadillac, please. Is the Bentley down there? Wow. <laughs> the next question, why do men lie? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Say it to 